That'll spook him a bit. Give us an opportunity, maybe. Oh, he spun! P2 has gone off it. Atwood curve. Hello guys, welcome to another iRacing race today in the F3 in the Mozza Challenge around Okayama International Circuit. Now it's the first time we've done this car and track combination, although I have had a couple other attempts today that haven't gone so well. I made it about four meters past the start line before getting taken out in the last race. So hopefully we go well in this one. So we're starting from P3 on the grid today. Uh, not know how I managed to get there high up, but I think most of the battling is probably gonna be behind me today. Uh, we're going to try and hold this position, maybe gain a position if we can, maybe go for the win, but I highly doubt we'll uh, have that pace, but we're going to give it our best shot today, hopefully have a fun and entertaining race. 20 laps around here, so about a half hour race, starting P3. Let's see what we can do now. A big thank you to Mozza Racing as well for sponsoring today's video. They tell me they do now have US stock again on hand. So if you're interested in picking up some Mozza gear, check the links down in the description below. And a big thank you to them for sponsoring today's video. So let's uh, let's see what we can do, guys. 20. All right, laps. clutch in. P3. Okay, well, Try not to ready. screw Watch this up. Lights. Go. Decent getaway. Good. Okay, we're alive. Right side. Stay right. I'm gonna be so careful on cold tires. Lost one position, but I'll take that. So careful on the throttle. Okay. Somebody's apologizing behind us, so somebody's had an incident. We'll just focus on our race though. shape there but we're okay all right still alive we survived lap one that's better than we've done so far today okay well don't think about the lap times just hit each Tires and every index d4 First couple of laps always scare me in this car. Try to stay with these guys. each other up a bit which suits me just fine. Somebody in the pits. The leader has just done a 124.8. The car ahead has just done a 125.0. P4. That lap time was 125.2. lose so much time in that corner if you don't get it right. What's happened behind? We've lost, we've lost a bit of ground. That's good, we're building a bit of a gap. The 
reactor and down. In front is now 0.7. Got to be so careful in the low speed turns. High downforce car. No downforce in those slow speed corners though. The guy behind's really new in. The gap's now 0.7. The leader's just done a 124.2. The car in front has just done a 124.5. Sector three years, 0.5 off the pace. Come on. Oh, he's off in the dirt. That'll spook him a bit. Give us an opportunity, maybe. Oh, he spun. P2 has gone off in Atwood Curve. Oh, dear. Not what you want to see. We'll take it, though. Was there a little bit of contact? Not sure. Six has gone off in Piper. Come on. I think Pascal's probably going to run away now. He's not under pressure so much. The leader has just done a 123.6. Well done, Will. You're looking really good. Come on, keep your focus. P3, the guy behind has just done a 124.0. See if we can hold on to Matthias here. He is picking up the pace a bit though. Gotta be so careful with the throttle. One point two second gap still. One point one behind. Fastest lap for Van Damme, one twenty three point five. The guy behind has just done a one twenty three point six. faster. The gap behind is now 1.0. Whoa! Problem with this car is once you lose grip once in the back end, overheat your tyres and you pay for it for the next lap. Gotta be so careful. Short shift it, keep the back end in check. No point nine seconds behind still. Sectors one and two are a tenth down. Sector three times quick.
come on. 0.8 behind still. It's getting closer. No point eight still. Okay. Woo. Your lap time was at one twenty three point four. That might be my PB. Nothing like a little bit of pressure to hurry you up. I think Pascal might have had a small mistake. Matthias is closer. Keeping it smooth. Oh, he's off! Right side. Clear right. B2. Come on, Will. Nicely done. We're going to be under pressure now. Oh, little slide. The gap to Van Dam behind is now 0.2. No pressure or anything, geez. There's an incident in Hyper. Don't be pressured. Keep your exit speeds up. A bit quicker than us entering last corner. Car right. Play right. Play right. Don't want to lose Trump's touch with the leader. Two point one seconds. What happened behind us? I think he might have lost a bit of ground when he... Yeah. When he went for the overtake there, he might have got a little out of shape, lost another position. Your lap time was 124.6. We did lose a bit of ground in that battle the though. <laughs> Trying to say with Pascal. New fastest lap for Lee, 123.2. Well, those two are battling each other. They're going to hold each other up, which is great for us. 1.5 second gap now. Just gotta not throw it away. Oh, a little wheel on the grass there. 
Didn't lose too much time. Can't afford to do that again though. The tyres is back behind me again. That's half distance, the fuel's okay. One second gap again, two seconds in front. Cannot afford any mistakes. Like that. Little lock up, didn't cost us too much though, but we can't afford to do that again. I'm getting in my own head. 0.5 of a second. Sloppy lap. Point 0.7 of a second gap behind. Just focus. You've just done a 124.2. shape there. Okay, well, hold your nerve, just keep it smooth, no mistakes. He's quicker than you into Atwood Curve. Done at 123.9. So much concentration. He's very close. Point four. Still under pressure from Frederico though, which helps. Again, getting loose again. Half second gap. Don't 
Don't be intimidated. Keep them behind you. They're faster than us in two. Atwood curve. Looks like the leader's been it in. No! Ops. Oh my god! We're winning! <laughs> No pressure. No way. There's an incident in Williams. Keep doing what you're doing. This is spot on. Yellow flag. Good consistency. Keep them coming. You're in the lead. No pressure. And down behind is now. We've got some back markers coming up. I think P4's gone off in Piper. Another accident behind. It's just the two of us now. That's not what I wanted. He's not under any pressure from behind now. It's just the two of us. With a two and a half second gap behind. Cannot afford a mistake. New fastest lap for Lee on 23.2. Oh, he's a little out of shape there. I saw him sliding in my mirrors. Only four more laps to go. Everything to lose here. Good, he's getting out of the way. Thank you. That was a one twenty three point eight. Incident in Williams. It looks like Van Dam. Oh, he's gone. He's lost it. Oh my gosh, we're going to win. 2.2 seconds back to Pascal. All we're going to do is hold on, boys. Oh my goodness. Maximum concentration. We're almost there. The guy behind has just done a 123.4. He's quick. He has the pace. Does he have enough time? 
Pass this lap for Lee, 123.1. All these guys are throwing down lightning fast laps. The gap behind is now 1.7. You're leading. Point seven so we're maintaining the gap. Two more to go. Come on, Will. Two to go. Stay focused. We can win this. No. The steering wheel messed up. <laughs> I've been having issues with the USB hub for a couple of days. It just glitched out, but my shifters are back now. Imagine that. I couldn't shift for a second there, but it came back. It's the uh, USB hub has been mucking up. Running out of bandwidth. Anyway, we need to focus here. Let's see, 5.9 seconds behind now. He's had another incident. Thank you. There's an incident in first corner. That's not what I want to hear. All right, final lap. The screen on my wheels all garbled from the USB hub mucking up, but... One more lap, your P1. That lap was Just take it easy now, we've got a decent gap behind us. No need to take any risks, six second gap. What a race! Yes! <laughs> yeah! What a race. Oh man. Well, there was some misfortune around nice us. Nice one, Will. Great win. But we you capitalized. We uh, didn't make any mistakes. We uh, almost lost our steering wheel there with the USB hub mucking up, but managed to hold it together. That was an excellent race. That was uh, one of the best I've had, I think. Absolutely awesome. I really hope you guys enjoyed that as well. Let's, uh, let's jump in now, have a look at the replay, have a look at some of those incidents and see how things played out. Yeah! Woohoo! All right, let's have a look at how this played out. Got a decent launch. That wasn't the best launch, but you'll notice the car behind me ended up starting from the pits, which was probably a sensible thing to do. <laughs> side by side through turn one. So we did end up conceding one position there, but I was kind of happy to let that go, just take it easy, find my pace. So lap four. This was the uh, leader and second place. Oh, a little tap there in the back end was all it took to spin him around. That's a shame. So then end of lap eight, this is where we got 
past Matthias coming through the last turn. He got a little out of shape there, out onto the gravel. Completely destroyed his exit speed. And it was good of him to get off the racing line there as well with the slower speed there and make sure that he wasn't getting in people's way. He didn't have to do that. He could have made it difficult. But he did stay pretty close to my backside for the next couple of laps after this. Let's just follow this through a little bit. He did, I, I don't know whether it was this same lap at the end of the back straight, he took a bit of a dive. I had to, I remember having to sort of do, get out of it. I remember I turned in and I, I got the call that he was on the right and I kind of twitched out to the left. Let's see if that was this lap. So he's got a decent run on me here. Yeah, so he did get a wheel on the end. Yeah, then I, I jumped out of the way. And then he ended up losing that position as well. So let's see how that played out. Oh, he just had to slow up too much there on the exit. An unfortunate lap there. But uh, I've got to say at the same time, that was you know quality driving there to stay out of trouble, not cause any mischief. And uh, yeah, he could have very easily made life a lot harder for everybody else involved there. So uh, yeah. So then the next lap, this was Matthias again getting back past Frederico. So same move that he tried to do on me. A little bit further up this time though and snuck it down the inside nice. A little bit of a lock up on the apex but still pulled it up. Nice clean move. So then lap 14, this is where Pascal from the lead and he had a pretty healthy lead by this stage. Made a little mistake. It's so easily done on this corner. I've looped it there at least five times in practice and once in a race as well. So, uh, yeah, it's such an easy mistake to make. Really unfortunate for him, though. So lap 15 now in the battle for first position. There's me in front with Matthias and Frederico and... Oh, just locked it up. Spun it around there. He did well to keep it out of the wall, but... That put him out of contention, unfortunately. And then Matthias behind me ended up having another incident as well. So let's have a look at that one. So lap 17. At this point, he was still in with a very good chance of the win. But little wheel on the grass there and uh, so easily done. And that was pretty much race over. From there, it was a pretty easy win. Let's have a look at the results. All right, so second split, strength of field 1587, so a little bit lower than I thought actually, which is probably why we were so close to the front. Uh, plus 88 on our I rating after a couple of nasty hits in the races beforehand. Uh, I think I lost about 150 points in the races beforehand, but good to claw back a little bit there. Plus 24 on our safety rating, pretty much back to where we were when we started the week. Now, in terms of incident points and stuff like that, we had zero incident points, completely clean race for us. Scrolling down here, the worst was Adrian with 12 incident points, closely followed by Nils Hamilton, who uh, had 11 incident points. But in terms of raw pace here, how did we go? So my average pace is 124.447, quite a bit quicker than anybody else there with those incidents. But best lap, we were yeah, a little bit off the pace there. So quite a number of these guys. Federico was faster. Mu was faster there, he was the fastest. And yeah, there's a couple of other guys down here lower as well, which all had laps close to, if not a little bit quicker than mine. So there you go, guys, a pretty hectic race there, definitely an enjoyable one. And uh, yeah, as I was saying earlier, it, it's, it, it, I racing is so funny like this, like you'll get a really frustrating run. You know, I got taken out on lap one in like three races in a row or something. I was really frustrated, wasn't even gonna bother recording another race and then that happens. So I think the, the lows sometimes do make you appreciate the highs a little bit more, but uh, you know, it just goes to show that staying within your limits, being sensible in the approach uh, can yield results like that one. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a thumbs up if you did. Once again, thank you to Mozza Racing for sponsoring today's video. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Bye.